Joining us now to talk all things tech, and maybe we'll throw in some media as well, Barton Crockett from Rosenblatt Securities. He downgraded Apple from a buy to a neutral. His price target remains 198 well, I guess let's just start there, Barton. Why the downgrade? Well, Apple is at uh, a premium multiple on an absolute and a relative basis, and uh, the business is really uh, taking a, a growth break. And I think those two things are, are hard to say that you need to overweight Apple uh, with that type of setup. Um, you know, I think uh, over the uh, near to intermediate term, um, you're kind of juggle some comparisons on the iPhone that'll um, be uh, a headwind and a tailwind. Um, but I think the, the, the bigger issue is it's hard to really imagine what's going to reignite growth at this place for Apple. Um, you've got an iPhone 15, which I'm sure will be a great device, um, but it's hard to see that transformative um, to the demand characteristics of this company. And you've got some new ideas with Vision Pro and maybe an Apple car, uh, which will take years to play out. Vision Pro, I think, is really interesting, uh, but it's not going to really meaningfully move the numbers northward uh, in the near term. You said it's a growth break, but then you said it's hard to imagine what will reignite growth. Right. So I'm wondering, is it a really long break <laughs> in your opinion? <laughs> part? Well, I mean, certainly you're, you're getting at part of what my discomfort is. I mean, I love Apple, what they've done, um, you know, their their execution, their vision um, has been tremendous. Um, and, you know, it's hard to ever bet against these guys. But I don't really see what I can put in my model uh, to justify a 30 PE at this point, um, you know, or expansion from a 30 PE or, or take my, you know, earnings estimate meaningfully northward. So um, it's a bit of a pickle right now. The, um, um, and, you know, we'll have to see how they play through this. Um, the kind of pivoting to media, if we can, Barton, uh, the Writers Guild of America negotiators, they met on Friday uh, with representatives of the major studios, didn't come to an agreement, of course. How much longer do you expect this to go on um, before it really, really starts to have an impact on the bottom lines of these studios? Well, look, I think that the, the duration of this is, um, who knows? I mean, I think it'll be darkest before the dawn, it, you know, when people really start to feel pain um, is when you can actually get some type of resolution, I think, at this point. Um, the studios are um, well cushioned in the near term. Obviously, the lack of spending on production helps their cash flow. Um, their cash flow constrained investors want cash flow. Um, so that set up near term, they don't feel a ton of heat today. They will feel heat when they're unable to produce new originals for their streaming services and the subscriber growth tails off as a result. Um, and I think for that to happen, the, the strike would have to last into um, basically early next year. Um, it's funny we mentioned, you know, Apple and then we go to media, but even though media in some ways seems to be an afterthought for the likes of Apple, they probably spend mm -hmm. more. I mean, mm -hmm. they can spend whatever they want. You know, you talk about a lack of sort of uh, uh, seeing growth in their future. Is it possible that they could come up with a, an app for the Vision Pro or do a deal with ESPN or, mm -hmm. I don't know, move in some way that would conceivably answer some of your concerns about growth? Certainly that's possible. Um, you know, I'm not going to thumb into my model today, an ESPN deal with Disney. Um, I think that would be great. Um, I think that that is, um, you know, hope over a kind of substance to go there today. I think that it could happen. I think that the, um, uh, you know, the, the app opportunity at Apple is great, right? They don't have to pay themselves a 30% cut, um, you know, so they have great promotion to their installed base of, you know, uh, over 2 billion devices. So, um, you know, they're well positioned, I think, that to frankly be a leading player in video streaming, in audio streaming. Um, and I think they've executed surprisingly well on the video side. Um, you know, Lionel Messi coming to MLS was kind of, um, you know, the, the cherry on top, if you were, of, of what they're doing. Um, so, yeah, I, I look at that space maybe as something that could get me reinterested again.